everyone, welcome to Style3D channel. In this video, you will learn about the avatar. So, let's get started. First, female avatar as an example. We can import the avatar and open the resource library. Six different folders can be seen under the avatar tab. These correspond to six different avatar categories. This includes boy, child, female, girl, hanger, and male. We can click on the avatar folder. This includes appearance, emotion, face, gesture, hair, motion, nana real model render configuration pose, shoe, size, and skin. Now the appearance folder. This is used to switch the facial features of the model. Double click or right click to add. Notice that the hair does not change when you change the appearance. To change the hair, you need to go into the hair folder to manually select a different hair. Click back to previous folder and then the second one is emotion. This is used to switch the expression of the avatar's face. So double click or right click to add it. Now back to previous folders. The third one is the face. There is currently only one default style. Now back to previous folder. Gesture is next. We have a variety of hand shapes which can be changed. Click on it and then you can choose both hands or left or right hand. Let's choose both hands to see the effect. Both hands have now become the same gesture. Let's look at left hand only and right hand only effects. Back to previous folder now. Let's go into the hair folder. Double click or right click to add. And we can change the hairstyle. Next, go into the motion folder. There is walking in IOT pose or walking in IOT pose high heel in the preset. The avatar is currently wearing high heels, so we will need to use the walk I or T in the high heel preset. Now add the animation and watch to see the effect. You will need to open the animation editor to see this. Click the play button. Now we can see the animation of walking in high heels. Back to previous folder. Click into Nana Real Model Render Configuration folder. This preset only works when the avatar is set to Nana. The function is to replace the Nana avatar with a real person during rendering. Choose a pose. In the offline render window under the tool column, we can see that now a real model is being rendered. Now back to previous folders and into the pose folder. In addition to choosing preset poses, we can also download other poses from the cloud library. Double click or right click to add. Scroll your mouse over the thumbnail to see a larger picture. Now click on it and we can see the effect. Back to previous folders. Let's go into the shoes folder. The arrow symbol indicates that you need to download it. Shoes can be switched between different styles. Back into previous folder and into the size folder. Besides basic sizes such as small, medium, large, extra large and stuff like that, we have a lot of other different options. So double click or right click to add. Now let's go into the skins folder. Here we have preset skin tones. Double click to add. There are two types, with or without underwear. We can also alter the avatar's face maps and give it a new makeup look. Arrow symbols indicate that they need to be downloaded. Double click or right click to add. Now we're done explaining the female avatars folder. The folders of boy, child, female, girl and male are the same as above. 
However, the hanger one is a little bit different. Available hangers do not support pose switching. Next, we will talk about the show function, which can be found in the upper left of the 3D window. The first button is to show the arrangement points. We use this when arranging garment pattern pieces, and then turn it off when the arrangement is completed. Next, we can show the skeleton. We can adjust it to get the desired look. Next is the avatar's textured surface. The default is set to on. If you want to turn it off, we can observe a white avatar. This button is to switch the viewpoint in the 3D window and it has no effect in rendering. So when you're rendering, you will still see the textured surface. Now we have the avatar's mesh. We can open this if you need to view the avatar's mesh for whatever reasons. Next is a description of the different functions. Right click on the avatar to bring up its menu. Then we can delete it. Next for unfreeze. When you unfreeze it, you'll see the gizmo. This way you can move the avatar around. Now we can hide the avatar. The avatar will be hidden from the 3D window after clicking on it. If you want to bring it back, just right click and select show all avatar. Next is move avatar to center. This realigns the avatar to the center position. Now we can move the avatar to the ground. This realigns the avatar's feet to the ground. Doing so does not alter any information of the avatar. Move avatar to origin realigns it to its original state. This means that the avatar's X and Y position are back to the origin. Next, for save pose, you can save the avatar's current modeling style as a new pose after adjusting the avatar's default pose. Smartly convert to accessories and props. This function is a way to turn an avatar into an accessory or prop. This can be imported in whatever way you want to use it. Next, we'll talk about the use of the avatar in the Scene Manager. Click here on the eye symbol. This will hide all avatars. Now click on the eye symbol beside the name individually to hide the selected avatar only. The snowflake symbol beside the avatar's name. This means that the model is in a frozen condition. Unfreeze the avatar. The scene manager snowflake is now gone. Next we will talk about deactivating the avatar. Create a piece of cloth to simulate. Click the deactivate button. Simulate. Now you can see that the fabric did not collide with the avatar. This means that the avatar is deactivated at this time. Here we can show or hide the avatar's measurements. Click on the eye symbol to show the measure line. We can check the avatar's size here. The next section talks about editing the avatar. Click on the avatar to edit the avatar in the right hand window. A pop-up window will appear. You can find all the avatar's proportions in the window, which are size, face, skin, hair, and accessories, emotion, pose, animation, and garment. And you can download more in the cloud library. Specific adjustments can be made here to the avatar's body measurements. This slider will help you change the avatar's size. The main adjustable parameters are full body, arm, leg, length, upper body, and height. Adjustment of these parameters can be made by using the slider. Right click on the button to reset. In addition to the basic sizes, 
Selecting Advanced brings up additional size parameters. Adjust as you need to achieve the desired body size. The second tab is the face. This includes face shape, eyes, nose, mouth, and other details. Adjust the details of the face according to your favorite look. The third one is skin. Hair is next. We can change different hairstyles here. Now under accessories, we can have various different shoes. Under emotion, there are some preset emotions and we can click to change them. Then you can adjust local details. Under pose, you can change different body poses. Gesture can be changed with both hands or just one hand. This button is for AI, which can drive an avatar pose from an image. Upload the select image, name it, and click OK. Then, it will create a pose like the image. The avatar's skeletal relationship is consistent with what can be seen in the image. Here is FBX support for Mixamo. This means we can load FBX files from Mixamo. This function makes it easier to create visual effects. Directly click this button to load and use. The next one is animation. Please pay attention to the shoe style of the avatar when you load in the animation. This is dependent on whether the avatar is wearing flats or high heeled shoes. Select the corresponding name to create an animation. Next is arrangement. We use this when arranging or adjusting pattern pieces on the avatar. Finally, the cloud icon is to post or download directly from the cloud library. This allows faster access to some of our cloud assets. So that's it from me guys. I hope some of these tips will help you with your 3D creations. If you like what we do, please like and comment and share this video. Thank you guys, and I will see you in the next video.